couple of years ago, the NUC had, uh, had some hype because it became very easy to hack Intosh. And the Akasa case that we are testing today answered to a big problem that was that the NUC is a very noisy computer for a form factor that small. A lot among you may be interested by the solution if you want to have a silent computer in your home studio because here there is no fan at all. This is complete passive cooling solution. Same power as a laptop would do. This is a NUC 10, so we have a high 7 inside, 10th generation, 32 gigs of RAM, and 1 terabyte SSD. That's the kind of configuration that might be standard. In my research, I wanted to combine this NUC with a Blackmagic eGPU based on the RX 580 graphic card, which has been an interesting solution for many people who own laptops. You take your laptop on a journey, you came back home, and then you have all this graphic power. And the Blackmagic has a reputation of being very silent. Other reason is that the two things would be very nice on a desktop because of a vertical form factor. So it was kind of neat. The other reason is also that the Blackmagic eGPU is also a hub that through Thunderbolt 3 can open you to a wide range of possibilities. The main defect of a NUC is its lack of USB port in my opinion, but we will come to that in a minute. So, I cancelled that project because this GPU became very difficult to find. The auctions on eBay are close to a fresh new product. The main reason why I cancelled this combination is mainly because the NUC in itself already disappointed me. And I will try to explain you why. First thing come from the Akasa case itself. I had to use the back of a screwdriver to be able to push the power button, which is something that is unacceptable. I accept the idea that I made a mistake in mounting this little dude right there, but if I do this mistake, I suppose, regarding my knowledge in builds, that the average consumer can do the same mistake as well. Second problem is that Mounting a NUC inside this kind of case is something like a bumpy road. This is not something easy and I respect very deeply all the people who made videos about it, but it's far from being smooth. And if you look at the tutorials of the brand itself, really, I don't buy it. Undoing the NUC is something really tricky, not tricky as and mounting a Mac Mini, for example, or some laptops, but now everything is soldered on a Mac. Um, but this is not very simple. In fact, making an ITX build where there is enough space in ITX or ATX build is really something easier, in my opinion, than this. The NUC originally has not been made to being unmount. Though there is something that is weird, is inside the BIOS you could set for the cooling profile, you could set a fanless option. Maybe this profile has been made after many iterations of the NUC to ensure that the Akasa case would be suitable with it. But many times after you use the NUC, you have this kind of message right there. So, something is not going right, even when you properly ensure to cool the CPU with a good amount of thermal paste, which I did. If you want to make video editing with a NUC on its own, then it will get ugly in a hurry. For example, if you intend to do 4K video editing with Final Cut, I would say approximately 
that your export will be three times the length of a video. And I'm not speaking about stabilization or color grading, simply to export the footage. Using DaVinci Resolve is far from being realistic. Adobe Premiere is okay, and I think that would be the best option for this kind of computer. It turns out that my first intuition was the right one. Using an external GPU is absolutely mandatory if you want to do video editing. But now we have to consider the budget of building this kind of thing. So we are now reaching the price of an ITX configuration. We will have really better results. In fact, you have the power of the laptop. And another inconvenience is also that in the Hackintosh department, you will have to cancel the use of the native Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card that are soldered inside the motherboard. So you will need some dongles and maybe use internet with a Ethernet connection. This is maybe the biggest problem of this computer. This is the lack of USB port. Imagine a configuration where you want to put your sound card, a printer, your smartphone connection because you are making photo with it, keyboard, etc. The Nakintosh with the Akasa case is a good solution for people who are making home studio and want to stand in the audio production requirements. I don't think this computer would fulfill your needs if you want to make extensive video editing. I would definitely recommend some help to be able to build it. This is not something that is very smooth. So guys, you can see that now the angle and the camera are different. I will explain this in a couple of seconds. Well, the NUC is really not a satisfying experience, I believe. Um, I can still recommend it for people who want a Windows silent small PC, but the budget did not convince me. Um, for the Hackintosh, I think this is really not a good idea. I started to record this video in October 2020 and it was among the first video which explains why uh, the tone is not exactly right or the settings are not yet very good. But I wanted to keep this experience and it turns out the NUC has been really sucking my energy. It was uh, sometimes really a waste of time and for example the first NUC I had I had to send it back to Amazon for the simple reason that when I want to undo one of the screws I broke it and that's really a bummer. So now a lot of things have changed and especially the fact that there is the M1 Mac Mini available and apparently the problem of fan noise is absolutely solved. So for 1000 euros, a silent computer with outstanding benchmark, though they have been overrated in my opinion, I think this is a solution that you should prefer to make a Nakintosh, really. Um, maybe you are a Nak fan boy, maybe you will disagree, please leave a comment down below, consider subscribing if you did not already. Uh, you can also join us on social media. A huge thank for watching and I hope to see you on this channel very soon.